because every night before I go to sleep, I always tell you that I love him because I have a, a shelf. A shelf with all his pictures. Then I have a chest where I have all his collectibles that I have put in um, shadow boxes to keep. So every night and every morning, I always say, Mama, love you. We are here to remember our son Daniel Mole, who was tragically killed on February 19th of this year. Um, and I know, well, I just know a, a glimpse about um, the lantern floating and its purpose. And so um, we know that, or we felt that it was important that we come this year, especially because of Daniel's recent passing and that we need to um, send him off to the other world that he uh, needs to go to. So from your perspective, if they had prosecuted her the first time, your son would still be here today. Yeah. Uh -huh. She wouldn't be driving if this wouldn't happen. Because my friend, she had a DUI case, but she had that brutal thing inside her car. Uh -huh. That would also help too if she was prosecuted. That would stop her from drinking and driving. For me, I'm not a dweller, uh -huh. uh, and that's how that's how I get by with work, with personal things. Uh, I just take care of it, and then I I'm not constantly dwelling on things because you can become overburdened by it. So for me, I don't even look at the shelf. People ask me, you asked Brennan, how does it feel? Uh, for me, pe many people have asked how I am. Uh, and I describe it as like just living life as a blur. It's like, it's like the body can only feel and experience so much grief and pain uh -huh. and then it just stops. He was very active. Uh -huh. He was funny. Sometimes he get he, um, irritates you but that's because he's having fun. Right, right. And every time when he leaves to work or he leaves to some place, he always say, Mom, I love you. He, he would have parties at the house. Mm -hmm. you know? And uh, there was one time I remember I woke up because of the, the music. And it was <coughs> early in the morning. And I, I woke up to partying. Mm -hmm. And I went out there and I got everybody's car keys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had to sleep over. Yeah. Oh, they were like over. trying to convince me that they're good. I was like, no, not under my watch. You guys all sleeping over. Yeah. And uh, I did that twice. Yeah. Huh. The second time it was with less resistance. Uh, but stuff like that, you know, don't let your friend dry.